What's going on, people? As of today, it is a smooth, sunny Sunday. But where I'm at, it's raining off and on. So, um, can't enjoy the sun too much. I can't enjoy the sun too much. But hey, man. Uh, how's the games going, Jet? How are the games going? All I'm gonna say to that is, I'm gonna say, by the time you're seeing this stream, this exact stream right here, I'm a, and I'm talking to you in the future, YouTube, by the time you're seeing this stream right here in the future, um, the games that correlate to this time frame are going to be uploaded like late November, wait, early November, late October. Yes, it's that deep. Um, all I'm gonna say is this game is being this game, man. This game is being this game. Shout out to the devs. I know, crazy. I said shout out to the devs. Shout out to the devs because this bag is actually pretty nice. Um, this this bag is 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 really nice actually. Like this this is not bad. This is not bad. I was about to say this is not bad, but no, this is not bad. Although I do miss my uh this. I do miss this. Um, but like this looks a bit I don't know, rugged, if you will. This just looks more official. Like, I would wear this as a book bag. If it was a thing. And I wouldn't feel bad about it. You know, like I would not feel bad about it at all. But yeah. You know, shout out to the devs. They know how to design some clothes. Would I buy any from them in real life? No. Absolutely not. And you know, not the downplay the grind of any other YouTuber, but name on on your hand, using your fingers, name the people you've seen wear YouTuber merch. Name them. Because I cannot recall seeing anybody wearing anything they bought off of YouTube. I mean, maybe like a jacket here or there, but like, I think that's what somebody would buy. But me with my own eyes seeing somebody wearing a YouTuber shirt or some shit, I'm like, yo, ain't that from a XYZ YouTube channel? Hey, they fire, bro. I, I see you. I see you. Like, I have never seen that in my life. Never. Absolutely never. But you know, hey, if it sells, it sells. Maybe I'm just in the wrong area. Shit, I don't know. My boy is on a mission, you hear me?
Double was afraid. This may be a bit odd of me to say. What, what's up, Andy? I see you in chat. This may be a bit odd of me to say, but I think night shootouts help you with your vision. Because that last guy, I caught nothing but like three glimpses of him, and I had to predict his movement, and turns out I was actually right on the money. And all I seen was like three shadows of him. So may, maybe, Maybe night shootouts on Mirren in particular are the best kind of shootouts. 
you know what? Pause. I just had an even bigger epiphany. Or an even bigger epiphany. Mirin shootouts is good for like long range fights, if you will. And vision, obviously. Because you know, there's bushes on that map, people hide in bushes. Um, remember now, this is only for shootouts. Sawmill shootouts are good for like up close and personal, if you're trying to get good with a gun kind of shootouts, day or night, really. And, uh, Sherstein, I hope I said that shit right. Sherstein shootouts are good for, uh, I guess maneuvers. Because the map is so, like, narrow and linear, you gotta know how to move to avoid people's shots. And so the game restricts your movement, or your freedom of movement, by putting you in such a damn small-ass road, you gotta know how to move. If not, pause. Okay, here we go. Sherstein shootouts are good for or Sherstein shootouts are good for headshots. I said it. I said it. The map is flat. There is no, like, vertical disparities. Everybody's fighting on the same level. Sea level wise. Or on the same sea level, I guess. So, if you aim in the right spot for the entire match, you can pull off nothing but headshots. So, I feel like Sherstein shootouts are good for headshots. So share scene's good for headshots. Sawmill is good for up close and personal. I'm trying to get good at shooting somebody up close kind of shootouts. And Mirren is good for vision and seeing somebody first before shooting them. That's what I think. No one asked. I know. Nobody asked. But, but as a guy who plays shootouts literally daily, I, I think I know what I'm talking about. I think. But anyways, oh look, it is, uh, it, it's, it's Fiona Hunter. Let us hope that it is daytime. Actually, no, let us hope it's nighttime. Because I feel like people are more aggressive during day because you can see shit. But it takes the real player's eyes at night to find somebody. That's what I think. And Shenron spoke. Your wish has been granted. Y'all can call me a Nighthawk all you want to, but I literally just seen a silhouette go from here to there. Somebody's over there. That container surrounded. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm going to explain it with one sentence. 
It's real hard to hide a black silhouette against a green background. If I call in this mortar strike, it's going to hit him. It is. But the problem is, I can't see where he's... He's right there. Y'all seen that just now? Look at that. You see what I mean? Oh wow, they got it. That's crazy. I wish I had some, like, booby traps so I can booby trap that red chest. Sadly, I don't have any. But you know what, though? I got an idea. All right, that's interesting. All he knows is he spotted somebody down there. Wait a minute. Okay, all he knows is that he detected somebody down there, so he called in two mortar strikes. But that second one, he had to be on his knees for. Well, both of them had to be on his knees for. So, this guy died.
Did I just see somebody up there? I probably did. Probably. The plane is near. Get ready for the airdrop. Chat, I see you, but I can't focus on you right now. Because of obvious reasons. I didn't take no fall damage, that's crazy. Never ever do what I'm doing right here. Do not do this. Yep, yeah, what the fuck? That is no That is nowhere near where that airdrop is. Okay. I tell a fib. It might be on the edge of it, but I did not tell my person to throw a grenade in the water. I fucking bouncing physics, bro. I feel like there's somebody nearby. I feel like. That's how I'm prone right now. I mean, that is a barred house after all. Right in there. And it hasn't been opened, but we heard a lot of shots come from it. And the detective's right there, too. Am I going to use it? No. That'll be dumb. I really feel like somebody's nearby. Because all these shots... Come on, now. I did not mean to destroy my, my damn eye, Don. I did not mean to do that. Didn't I say going for that detector would be dumb? Didn't I say that?
Well then, what's up, MDL hat? Hey, yo, Wombat, I see you in kick, my boy. Yes, the, the bouncing is trash, but the aiming is actually good. I do like the aiming, though. I feel like I can throw a lot farther. But, I mean, isn't that the point, though? That may not have been a lot of kills. I said a lot of kills. That was three. That may not have been, like, a lot of kills, if not a lot of action. But I'll, I'll give the third guy this. He did scare the shit out of me. He did. But I was kind of prepared for it mentally a little bit, like 10%. Because, like I kept saying, all those shots from earlier and no one's around, I don't trust that. You know what I'm saying? I was expecting somebody to shoot at someone else. Not me. So I was prepared, but I wasn't prepared to get under fire myself. You know what I'm saying? And this, this assault rifle, while it is deadly, very deadly, it literally vomits ammunition. So... If you spray and pray, and your prayers don't get answered, you're going to die. And that's what he did. He didn't go prone. He didn't go on one knee. None of that. He just rushed. He just rushed me, jumped, and held the trigger. Spray and pray. I did the same thing, but my gun fires slower, which means it's more accurate. And it crazy how that worked out. And that shit crazy. But yeah, so this is this is the end of part one. So YouTube, uh, Wednesday, if not next weekend, you'll see part two. Until next time, peace.